How in the world do you calculate bank CD interest? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to address that topic uh, right now. Uh, there is a more of a technological solution to this. However, there will be some things that you will need to have ahead of time because it won't do the calculations for you without the information. So first thing that you need to do is you need to look up and try to find a bank CD uh, calculator simply because uh, to do it by hand, it is a little more involved than what you're used to. But one of the things that you need to have when you locate a bank CD interest uh, calculator is you need to figure out how much money you're willing to put in as a deposit. That's your initial investment. The account's not going to grow unless you know how much you want to, uh, to grow. So you definitely need to know how much you, ha you want to put in at the very beginning. Now, you also need to determine how long you want to keep the CD in. CD uh, lengths are varied. You can keep it for three months, six months, 12 months, have it roll over after a certain time, five years, 10 years. It's all really up to you. So, so far you need to figure out how much, number one, how much you want to put in, and number two, how long you need to uh, keep it in for. And last but not least, you need the annual percentage yield, APY for short. This is the performance that you want the CD to have. Do you want your CD to have 5% interest, 6 and a quarter percent interest, 8% might be wishful thinking, but you have to determine what kind of performance you want your CD to have. So when you have those three things, then you can enter it into the CD interest calculator and within a moment, it will give that amount for you and to give you an idea as to how much money will be waiting for you after you put in your initial deposit. So my name is Jimmy Chang and that is exactly how you calculate bank CD interest.